Hey guys, I'm right here with Rosie's puppy. They have all opened their eyes. As you can see, he's so cute, guys. Look at him. He's a beauty. Hey, he's a boy. They have opened their eyes and they can hear now, guys. He is going to four weeks being born, so it took 15 days for all of them to open their eyes. So they all have their eyes open now, guys. They're so cute. Say hi to the camera, Papa. Say hi. Hi. The governor, Kathy Hochul, announced she's ending the state's indoor mask mandate. Saying hey, hi. Hey, hola. Hola, Lily. Say hi. So, guys, they started barking a little. Well, not really loud, but, you know, you can hear them at night. And they're starting to walk now. They're learning how to walk. They try to go everywhere. But they're just starting to walk. Including children in schools should continue like, to wear masks in areas of high transmission. We of course have to make recommendations that um, are uh, you know relevant. She's making me guys. Oh, you're too much. Also for the public who is in your compromise. You have daddy, baby, daddy. Um, COVID-19 hospitalization rates have fallen 25% in a week. <laughs> rates dropped 3% in transmission areas <laughs> We are in a very <laughs> time for knowledge COVID, and we know how we need, what we need to do to slow an increase or to stop and reverse an increase. But, you know, we also have to move fast to move around the world that taught us that we really don't move fast with a lot of these Woo. things. Dr. Carrie Althoff, an epidemiologist at Johns Hopkins University, says it's not surprising that restrictions vary. So, guys, there goes Rosie right there. Say hi, Rosie. But she says people still need to follow the guidance. She's jealous, guys, because he's with me. Are only really as effective as their uptake. In Washington, Julie Benbrook, Capital Tonight. Say hi. And joining Say us, we're going to discuss this further. Hi. Hi. Oh, he's going to give Daddy keys. Oh, he growled at me, guys. Joining us this evening, what's your take on states rolling back these mask mandates? Is this too early? So guys, we have a playpen up bottom. And they're all in there. So I will be posting more videos up of them later on to see all of them, so y'all can see all of them. Here, bring me the little girl. And brownie, so they can ask you. Obviously, here in Texas, we've loosened restrictions quite a bit. He's trying to go over there. How do you think that has impacted the spread here? I think it's hard to tell. There are always going to be people that will say, well, it's because we didn't do X and we led to Y. I think one of the misconceptions about Delta last year. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're back with Rosie and Pancho's puppies. And there you have them. That's the oldest right here. We call him Brownie for now. And that's 
Rosenda back there. Guys, as you can see here, she's the smallest one. And the other puppy, he was just with me a while ago. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's with Rosie. So here goes the playpen, guys, that I bought them. And you can get these. Um, I will not say where, but we will probably have them in the future for our merchandise, guys. We'll be selling shirts and play pens and dog stuff, guys. So wait for them. So this is future references, guys. And they're pretty good and pretty cheap, guys. They will probably go around 50 or 60 bucks each. So we will let y'all know whenever we have merch, guys. Thanks. Hey guys, we're back with the puppies. So they love their new playpen, guys. They have their little basketball there with them. Weather on the ones is sponsored by Callahan's General Store between downtown and the airport. Still here after 40 years. Callahan'sGeneralStore.com. If you're over 50, imagine you could turn back the clock on your stiff, achy joints 10, even 20 years. Imagine you could do this without products that just temporarily hide the symptoms and may have side effects. Imagine no more. So this playpen is pretty good, guys, because you can actually close it up. And you can close it and sip it up. Or you could open it and have them here. And then it has another little door in here just to open down. Also, and it has a zipper. You can close it. Key ingredients backed by five clinical studies. Instaflex Advanced is so powerful, you can have better knees in just one week. Maybe that's why it's the number one selling joint brand at GMC. So it's pretty easy to get your dogs in here. Plus, text now and we'll include a tube of Instaplex pain cream with its exclusive oxygenated oil for fast acting relief from the pain of arthritis, back aches, and sore muscles. Absolutely so these puppies free. are text starting to get bigger quick. Right? Their fourth week this week, so they will be for one extraordinary pretty much a month. Because now with Spectrum Mobile, you get unlimited on two or more lines for $29.99 a line. This is a huge deal that'll make you feel larger than life. Get unlimited from Spectrum or probably less, probably like. Call 1-844-683-2999. Three weeks, somewhere around there. It's the biggest news in mobile with the best deal ever. Yeah, I think it's Get unlimited good. talk, text, and data for only $29.99. So, no as you can see, he's trying to, like, bite her ears, guys, but they do not have their teeth yet. They're not even growing yet, teeth. They do have their eyes open and everything. They could hear, too. But their teeth have not grown at all yet. Weather on the ones is sponsored by Pella, the most preferred window brand by homeowners in Austin, based on a 2020 survey of leading window brands among homeowners. Good evening, Austin. Victor Diaz back with you. Here is your Spectrum News at 90. A man faces a murder charge in Austin tonight. Police arrested Kendo Iguablu in the January 27th shooting death of Jose Rangel Mata in South Austin. His bond is set at $1 million. Tesla posted record fourth quarter and full year earnings as deliveries of its electric vehicle soared. The success happened in, in, in despite of a global shortage of computer chips impacting the auto industry. Elon Musk says this chip shortage will delay the Cybertruck pickup. And the Biden administration is looking into changes that could boost Border Patrol morale. Several high-level meetings are taking place between senior officials and workers for the agency. The Department of Homeland Security wants to address the workload and morale of agents in the field. Now, let's get a check of your high school philosophy. So there goes Rosie, guys. She came in. 
chilly tonight and warmer tomorrow. We're going to push back into some low 70s, looks like mid 70s to close out the week. So, pretty nice afternoons ahead. The next front, well, that'll hit first thing on Saturday. It looks like a chilly breeze, at least to start the weekend. And then looking ahead to next week, a pretty decent rain chance. We'll show you the numbers on the seven day forecast here when I come back. continue to cause confusion ahead of the March primaries. According to the Secretary of State's office, election officials already rejected more than 2,000 mail-in voting requests due to application errors. Under the new law, voters must include their driver's license number or the last four digits of their social security number on their application. Whichever number you choose must also match the number of your original voter registration card. The last day to apply for a mail-in ballot is next Friday. Those March primaries here in Texas are just weeks away. Before you head to the polls, we want to make sure you know who's on the ballot. All month long, we are introducing you to your candidates in your community as they work to secure your vote. Today, we're in Texas's third congressional district. That's in North Texas and includes parts of Dallas. Suzanne Harp is one of five Republican candidates hoping to win their party's nomination. Harp is focused on several things, including securing the border, election integrity, furthering anti-abortion laws, energy independence, Second Amendment rights, and the ending of the January 6th commission. This location is so important to me. When Bill and I were 16, we used to shop at Doug and Linda's before we went to honor ski trips together. We were high school sweethearts. U.S. Congressional candidate Suzanne Harp took us to historic downtown McKinney to show a street that's managed to... So guys, I will be back with another video. They are going to sleep. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, guys, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching. Rosie and Pancho's video blog.